The Illuminati A secret society formed in 1776, their goals were to oppose superstition and religious influence over public life and abuse of state power. Believed to have dramatically declined by the late 1780s, the Illuminati remains active today but it's believed there are only a small number of members. However, people believe otherwise and there is a huge conspiracy theory about the Illuminati. Some people think the Illuminati are controlling major events that occur in the world, such as the 9-11 attacks, the French Revolution and the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It's thought that they caused these events in order to control the public so they can plot their new world order. It's also believed the Illuminati control the media. This ranges from everything from music videos to films. Due to this, it's alleged they control several celebrities and political figures. In response to this, if a celebrity acts out, then it's believed the Illuminati kill them as part of a sacrifice. Now remember, these are theories, so they may not make sense or add up. Number 5 Bruce Lee, film star, martial artist, legend. His untimely death came on July 20th, 1973. Bruce was only 32 years old. Ever since his death, there have been several conspiracy theories surrounding it, as it is really suspicious. First we will take a look at the official report, then the theories. While in Hong Kong recording parts of his film Enter the Dragon, Bruce collapsed. As he was known to suffer from seizures and headaches, he was rushed to the hospital. After a few tests, the doctors diagnosed him with a cerebral edema. A cerebral edema, otherwise known as brain swelling, is an excess accumulation of fluid between spaces of the brain which causes it to swell. The doctors prescribed him medicine and he was allowed to leave. Two months later on the 20th of July, Bruce went to actress Betty Ting's house to read over a script for his upcoming movie The Game of Death. He started to complain of a headache, so Betty gave him an unusual painkiller. It contained both aspirin and a tranquilizer. He then went to lay down to have a nap. When he didn't turn up for a dinner he had planned, producer and friend of Bruce Lee, Raymond Chow, went to Betty's house but he was unable to wake Bruce up. They then called in a doctor who spent 10 minutes trying to revive Lee. He was then sent to the hospital but was pronounced dead on the scene. Doctors said his brain had swelled by an increase of 13%. In 2005, 32 years after his death, Raymond Chow claimed Bruce died from an allergic reaction to the painkiller that was given to him. His death was ruled as death by misadventure. This caused quite a bit of controversy and people lashed out demanding more autopsies to be performed, but they were never granted. Due to Bruce Lee's iconic status, many conspiracy theories stemmed from his death. Some involve the Chinese Mafia, the Triads. It's believed they had him murdered when he refused to follow their orders. There is also a theory called the Lee Family Curse. This theory hints that Bruce Lee's family's bloodline is cursed. This is how the Illuminati theory goes. There are actually two theories and they are both crazy. Theory 1. As Bruce Lee's popularity grew, he became a megastar in the 1970s. Kids from New York to Australia wanted to do martial arts as they were heavily influenced by him. Due to this, it's thought that the Illuminati had contacted him as they wanted to control his media by placing subliminals and other brainwashing techniques in them. Bruce refused as he is an honest man and due to this, they murdered him. It's believed their choice of murder was poison. The second theory ties in with the family curse theory. Some theorists believe Bruce Lee's bloodline is cursed. The strange thing about this theory is that Bruce said that since a young age, he felt as if he was being followed by a demon. This theory ties in with the Illuminati theory as people believe that Bruce Lee had blue blood and for this reason, he was superior. Due to this, the Illuminati wanted him dead. Also, Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, died in a rather strange way when he was only 28. While filming for his movie, The Crow, he was shot to death when a prop gun accidentally fired. If you want more information about his death, then be sure to check out this video of ours. Number four, Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith was an American model, actress, and television personality. She rose to fame in 1993 when she became Playmate of the Year in Playboy. After this, she started modeling for several different fashion companies. In 1994, at the age of 26, she married 89-year-old oil tycoon J. Howard Marshall. The marriage was criticized in the media. The media labeled Anna as a gold digger. Howard died just a year and two months into the marriage. 
After this, Anna was involved in a lengthy inheritance court case with Howard's son. The court case continued after her death. Anna Nicole Smith died on February 8th, 2007. She was 39 years old. She was found dead in a hotel room in Florida. Her death was ruled as an accidental overdose. 11 different drugs were found in her system. Her death was ruled as an overdose of the sedative chloral hydrate. This became lethal when mixed with all the other drugs in her system. Also found in her system was Valium, Benadryl, and other prescription drugs. It's reported that she was addicted to prescription drugs. After her death, her body started decomposing faster than usual. It was concluded that this occurred due to the drugs in her system and the heat of Florida. Her funeral took place on March 2, 2007. Due to the strange circumstances surrounding her death, several conspiracy theories arose. Some theories ranged from her and her son being killed off to gain their worth. Her son also died in a similar way to her. Another theory involves Illuminati mind control. The mind control theory came after a video was released which shows Anna acting rather strange. There seems to be some disassociation and she is in a trance-like state. She has makeup covered all over her face. There is a section of the video where she acts as if a doll was a real baby. One theory that came about was about Anna's ex-billionaire husband. As he was wealthy, People believed he was part of the elite and released certain secrets to Anna before she died. As the higher-ups didn't trust Anna, they first tried to use mind control techniques on her, but eventually killed her. People believe they used the same techniques used in Project MKUltra. This was a CIA mind control program. Another theory is that she offered her son as a blood sacrifice to the Illuminati in order to stay in the highest position of wealth. To theorists, they define a higher position as 20 million in worth. Theorists believe celebrities must make blood sacrifices to maintain their wealth. They believe Anna offered her son as a sacrifice and in order to deal with the guilt, she turned to prescription drugs which sent her crazy and eventually led to her overdose. Number 3 Tupac Tupac Shakur was an American rapper and actor. He soon became one of the most popular rappers of the 90s and is considered one of the greatest of all time. He started off as a roadie and a backup dancer. He then released his first album in 1991 titled Tupacalypse Now. He reached his height of popularity in late 1995 and early 1996. This was after he was released from prison and signed with Death Row Records. As of 2007, he has sold over 75 million records worldwide. He died on September 13th, 1996, at the age of 25. On the night of September 7th, 1996, Tupac and co-founder of Death Row Records, Suge Knight, were in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand watching a boxing match between Mike Tyson and Bruce Seldon. While leaving from the fight, one of Suge Knight's friends saw an alleged gang member of the Crips by the name of Orlando Anderson. Earlier on in the year, Orlando and other gang members had robbed a member of Death Row in a Foot Locker in California. Suge informed Tupac and he and Suge Knight along with associates jumped Orlando in the MGM lobby. Once they left, Suge Knight and Tupac got in Tupac's black BMW and headed to Death Row owned Club 662. At about 10 past 11 at night, while they were stopped at a red light at an intersection of Flamingo Road, two women in a car pulled up beside Tupac and Tupac spoke to them and told them to go to Club 662. Five minutes later, a white four-door Cadillac pulled up to the right side of Tupac's car, rolled down the window and shot at Tupac's car. Tupac was shot in the chest, pelvis, right hand and thigh. Tupac's associates which were following in the car behind chased the shooter's car but didn't catch up with them. Tupac was shortly rushed to hospital and six days later on September 13th, 1996, he died of internal bleeding. After his death, an array of theories sparked. Some ranged from Crips retaliating to the attack, to Suge Knight ordering the hit as it was believed Tupac was going to leave death row. Another theory was that record producer P. Diddy had ordered the hit due to what the media dubbed as East Coast West Coast beef between Tupac and Biggie Smalls. There is also a theory that the Illuminati killed Tupac. This is how it goes. In an interview, Tupac said that while in prison, he'd learned about the Illuminati and their secret plan. In other words, the New World Order. Two months after his death, he released an album titled The Don Killuminati, The Seven Day Theory. 
He claimed he added the K because he wanted to kill the Illuminati. In the same interview, he claimed he wanted to run for some sort of political role. He then hints if he was still alive by the time, then he will. The interview can be found in the description below. As Tupac spoke so openly about the Illuminati, it's believed they murdered him to keep him quiet. There are many videos on YouTube which go into detail about Tupac exposing the Illuminati. There is also a theory that he left subliminals in his music videos to warn people. Number 2 John Lennon John Lennon was an English singer and songwriter. He was also a member and co-founder of one of the most iconic bands in history, the Beatles. On the 8th of December 1980, John Lennon was murdered while returning to his apartment in New York. At 10.50pm, Lennon was walking to his New York apartment when a man by the name of Mark David Chapman shot him four times in the back. Here is an eerie photo of Mark getting Lennon's autograph earlier on in the evening before he shot him. Lennon was taken to the emergency room but was pronounced dead on arrival. Many conspiracy theories followed his death. One was about the assassin himself. Mark Chapman was allegedly a crazed fan and had been planning to kill Lennon three months prior to the murder. He was obsessed with Lennon and adored him. This was until Lennon said the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. After this, Mark became infuriated and wanted to kill Lennon. However, theorists believe Mark Chapman was programmed by the Illuminati to kill John Lennon. They think that the MKUltra mind control methods were used in order to program him to assassinate John Lennon. People also believe this method was used on Lee Harvey Oswald, the assassin of John F. Kennedy. So why did they want him dead? As John Lennon was such a big star, people listened to what he said, and due to this, people saw him as a threat. Many people kept a close eye on him. It's believed the FBI had him under surveillance. He would often speak out against evil industries, and once in an interview, he claimed he believes our society is run by insane people for insane objectives. He then goes in depth about government. It's alleged that as he was so outspoken, the Illuminati had him murdered. Number 1 Michael Jackson Is there really even a need for an explanation for this guy? Michael Jackson, otherwise known as the King of Pop, has sold more than 400 million records. He died at age 50 from an accidental overdose. Just before Michael was about to make his comeback tour titled This Is It, he tragically died from an overdose. On June 25, 2009, Michael kept drifting in and out of consciousness while in his bed at his rented mansion in Los Angeles. He then became unconscious and wouldn't wake up. His personal physician, Conrad Murray, tried to revive him but failed. He was rushed to hospital but was pronounced dead just over an hour after arriving there. The coroners decided to treat Michael's death as a homicide. They had found out that Michael had been given a combination of drugs. Two were anesthetics and one was an anti-anxiety drug. His personal physician, Conrad Murray, was charged with involuntary manslaughter in 2010. Michael's case is pretty intriguing when it comes to the Illuminati aspect. Michael's father claimed that it wasn't just Conrad Murray behind his death. He said Conrad Murray was just a fool guy. In interviews with Michael himself, he claimed there was a conspiracy and that he didn't want to go into detail about it. He admitted this when being asked why his music was at the number one spot worldwide, but not in the US. Michael's sister Latoya is believed to have said she blamed Michael's death on a shadowy entourage. She also believes Michael was murdered. His son, Prince Jackson, said Michael would often cry and claim, they're going to kill me. Some people believe that Michael Jackson is at such a high status that the Illuminati were dependent on him and ruled him. Some had even gone as far to say that this is why his skin colour changed. Theorists believe the Illuminati forced him to bleach his skin as they saw white as a more dominant colour. It's thought that every time Michael would mention the conspiracy or hint at it in the media, then the Illuminati would bring bad publicity with headlines such as Wacko Jacko and also calling him a child molester. Many people believe the Illuminati or some sort of higher power killed Michael Jackson for speaking out. But just remember, these are all conspiracy theories. Do you believe any of them? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our videos. Goodbye.